Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach simple thread system using Android Kotlin uh, using the prepare statement. How to uh, how to use the prepare statement to add record and view the record, right? I will teach you, right? Now here I am going to uh, show the demo first. Here I am going to enter the name, right? Here I am going to enter the name here as Raja. Also I am going to enter as uh, Shisha. Fee, I'm going to enter here as 12,000. Click OK button, record added. Now I'm going to add another record as Kumar. Course uh, PHP fee 12,000. Right. Click OK, record added. Right. Now if you want to view the record, click view button. Here you will be able to see that. Okay, this is the record we have. you can enter here. Right. How to do the system step by step using prepare statement that's the efficient way to do the thread using prepare statement right so let's see right now let's go to the file new project here if it is not checked include kotlin support you have to click kotlin right then only you will be able to access the kotlin program in in android studio okay okay please make sure if it is checked or not right this is very important stuff in the new version there will be the uh, combo box drop down list uh, you will be able to select java or kotlin there right in the new version like this right here okay you will be able to see in the new version right now here uh, you will check this one include kotlin support click next uh, items and which okay it's no problem next click empty activity next finish now your project is built successfully okay this one should be the kotlin right so here, this one should be the app, app folder. Inside the app folder, we have a major two folders, Java folder and RS folder. Inside the RS folder, first we have to design the layout first, right? That's very important stuff. Here, uh, activity main.xml, this is the where you will design the app. This one should be the code, right? So first we have to double click and open it, right? Here, this one, okay? Now here, this one should be the layout, default one. If you go to the design, you can check here. This is a default one, right? Here, okay? Now here there will be the three views available, blueprint and design this one, okay. Now here I am going to design this, right, go to the text. Here, constraint layout, I am going to change the layout uh, type as linear layout first, right, this is a linear layout. Uh, here, after that, orientation, I am going to uh, change it as vertical and uh, another thing we have to do here is, it's a vertical and gravity, I am going to set as center right this is the important stuff i am going to do after that this one we have to remove it select and backspace to remove it inside here first i am going to create another linear layout right here rep contain rep contain very simple now we have to arrange them right rep contain rep contain here i am going to uh, write here as orientation vertical here also vertical and gravity center We have to select like this. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to design the text view. Wrap contain wrap contain. Very simple. Right. Now here, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, we have to write here is simply. Right. Here we have to write the text. Right. Heading heading of the app. Right. Heading is I'm going to write here is course registration the course from the course registration or no? right course registration course registration yes. using Kotlin Kotlin right okay perfect right I just put that in now I'm going to style the one so I'm going to write text color uh, you have to select the Asian right style right after that you have to write as a text size you have to increase the size you have to if you wish to increase the size you have to type text size you have to write here is 30 db right perfect right now let's see the design here the design right very simple design after that what i'm going to do is here right if you want to make sure it's simple uh, 25 let's make it 25 right simple right here it's perfect it's fit on the screen perfectly uh, now let's back to our code, right? Now okay, this is a layer, linear layer part, right? This is only heading. Okay, we design that, right? Okay. Now.
Now what I'm going to do the same linear layout and just get the copy, control C to copy this one, control V to paste below. Here, what are the changes I'm going to make is uh, do this here. I'm going to do the design text view. Uh, here we have to change the, this one as uh, name. Right here we have to uh, we have to we no need to change anything else. We have to remove them. After that we have to write a uh, edit text wrap content wrap content. Here we have to write the edit text right. Edit text we have to write here is ID the first one right ID. Okay ID is uh, we have to identify the specific text box right. But that is the use of ID. So we can identify the specific text uh, edit text right when you code right. So here uh, ID I am going to create as name. Otherwise you can write txt name right. It's very efficient right. Okay. Now after that we have to write here is a uh, EMS, EMS you have to write EMS, you have to give the size of the size, okay, 10, right, now we can check the preview here, it's a preview, let's look like this, okay, now it's working successfully here, right, here, uh, sorry, here we have to vertical, I am going to change this as a horizontal, then it will be fit, here it's fit, right, okay, fit on the screen, right, so, so, right. perfect, right, now, first one I am going to design successfully. Now the same linear layout, control C to copy, control V to paste below. Here what I am going to do is here second time, this one should be the course. Here also change txt course. Right, txt course. Others are same. You can see that if you do any design, you can see the preview. What is the preview here, right? It is very easy stuff to do it, right? So after that what I am going to do is the same thing you have to get the copy again. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste here. This one should be fee. Here also TXT fee. You have to change this type as TXT fee. Right. After the same linear layout, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste below. Here we have to do the another stuff is a button. We have to change the button type. Right. So we have to write here is a button. button. Right. Here button. Okay. We have to change the thing as here is a button. We have to change. Uh, here we have left content, left content. Here we have to uh, give the ID here also BTN1, BTN1 ID, right? BTN1 ID. Here we need to change the text also. Well, uh, text, sorry, text. text, sorry, text. Here, right here, uh, we have to write here save, we have to write save the data, alright? So here background color also we have to write the background color. You have to write here is a primer. You have to write primer. Right here you can see here. primer. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here. Uh, same button. Control C to copy. Control V to paste below. This button I'm going to change the thing as BTN2. This one should be view. View. Here we have to change the background color here. Mm, you have to change background color simply. Type background. Asian, right? You can check the design like this. Okay, simple design. Now you can see here. Very simple design, right? You can check here. Right? I have installed the virtual app Daily Motion, Jenny Motion. You can find it in Google and you can install it. Right? Very simple one here. Okay. This is a virtual app. I just show the demo. Right? So let's back to our design. Right? The very simple design I am showing. Right. Now let's code the one. Right? So what I'm going to do is here I designed the perfectly well. Now let's uh, go to the go to the Java here main activity. Right? This, this is already there. Double click here. This is the simple code I'm going to write here. Is very simple one. First, what I'm going to do is see inside here. We have first we have to this text box name. We have to identify txt name, txt course, txt fee. Right? Now here we have to get them. Uh, simply, we have to write the variable val. Uh, S, uh, here we have to write s name. It's a student name. It's identify the name, right? S name. Here find view by ID. Find, sorry, find view by ID. Uh, we have to we no need it. We have to write here is r dot id dot. We have to identify the text box. First one should be the txt name, right? As edit text. This uh, this how we have to write in. Uh, Kotlin, right? Very simple. Okay. 
same thing control c to copy control c to co uh, sorry control c to copy here control v to paste here this one should be the s v i just write as s v okay you can give the any name of the variable right it's not right it doesn't matter right i just give like this right fruit and name fruit and fee like this right here fee sorry not a fee this one should post right post. second one should be the post Here second here as text course right course right third one should be same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be sv here also txt fee right simple right now what i'm going to say i'm going to write the button so well b1 equal find view by id r dot id dot btn1 as button the same thing control c to copy control b to paste here this one should be two this one b2 right okay, perfect right after that what i'm going to do is we have write b1 dot set on click listener so write open and close scale back right now here first what i am going to do is here uh, if you are enter the all that fill the text click save button this is the, the what you what you have done is we have to save the record into the database so here you have to write the set on click listener this is the listener which call right if you click the button uh, which action method call set on set on click action method will call right okay now what i am going to do is here i am going to use the uh, SQL like database to insert the record into the database that is the stuff I'm going to do right so first what I'm going to do is here first we have to write the try this is the efficient way to write the code right try if you write the try we have to handle a catch right if you uh, catch right catch me it is if you write exception exception right it's handled what, what is there it's come right inside here we have to write the scope right try catch right we have to write like this very simple so we have to write here well we have to again we have to write the variable create the variable here we have to get it here s name s name dot get text get text right not to string What is the name you are typing? It is assigned to this variable. This variable you have to get it and store in this variable, right? So same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be course fee. This one should be fee, right? This is course control C to copy, control V to paste here. This fee control C to copy, control V to paste here. Right. That's the stuff you have to do. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create the database. Create the database. the database right you have to uh, use a comment like this right now here first you have created the database variable db equal open or database create this one right now here we have to write create the database you have to create the what is the database i'm going to create this uh, create the database as uh, slipped S L I D B. This is the database I'm going to create. I just created the S L I T D B. Right? After that we have write the con sorry here. Comma contact. Contact C con Tent. Context. Context dot more private. Come on now. Right. Now what I'm going to do is here we have to write db dot execute SQL. Here we have to write create. We have to create the database. Create table if not 
exist so you write a table name here i'm going to create a table name as records right this is a database name this one table name is this right if the right uh, table is not exit we have to create the table right that's the thing right here right here right now here we have to give the uh, table name properly here right uh, table uh, right this is a table now here we have to write the column name properly you have to specify the column name first id id as an integer type we have to write properly okay integer right integer right you have to write properly here right primary key you have to set the primary key here primary key primary key you have to set the primary key it's okay after that auto increment that is must auto increment auto increment auto increment right auto increment right comma here we have to write the name after that you have to write name that one that should be watcher name should be watcher comma the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be course sorry you have to write uh, watcher comma course right final one should be here the same thing control c to co uh, copy comma paste here this one should be fee right that's the thing but right but okay that's the thing we have to do okay now here uh, that's the thing we have to do right this is the table record right uh, name course these are the fields this is the name of the table these are the fields id should be auto increment you have to make sure the spelling and everything integer right everything Other, otherwise it won't work right auto increment auto increment right name Watcher, course watcher, fee watcher. This you have to make sure. Then only it, it uh, table should be created. Right. Now what I am going to do is here. After that, simple. After that, we have to write the query. So we have to write val SQL equal. We have to write the insert into insert into right records. Now we have to write the prepare statement. Right. Records. Right. What's the table name? Records. Right. Make sure that. Now we have to write the table column name properly here right id should be auto incremented we no need that after that we have right rest of the columns we have added name comma course comma fee right after that we have right values it's must you have make sure the prepare statement right you have to write the three prepare statement here right that's the thing we have right prepare statement right okay simple after that what i'm going to say we have right well statement well statement equal db dot uh, compile statement here we have to write sql yeah, sql right statement SQL, right okay this is the thing we have to write uh, after that we have to write a bind the values right this, these are the called as prepare statement right very this is the efficient way to uh, insert the record into the uh, database using prepare statement right now here we have to write the statement this one statement control c to copy control d to paste here dot bind string bind string here we have to write first one name this name okay this name you have to edit here the same like java okay no don't worry about that same thing control c to copy control v to paste here second one should be name course control c to copy control v to paste here third one should be c control c to copy control v to paste here right this is the thing we have to do after that we have to write statement statement dot execute right that's it now we have to show the message in toast right whether the record is added or not into the database so we have to make sure toast using the toast right here we have this keyword comma uh, here we have to give the success message record added right comma toast dot length length long count dot show right show 
that's it that's the thing we have to write after record is added we have to clear the text box fields right so we have to clear these fields right so this is these are the names you have to clear right so we have to write s name dot set x sorry not set text set text clear right like the same thing control c to copy control v to paste b to here second one should be cos control c to copy control v to paste here third one should be phi control c to copy control v to paste here. after clear uh, cursor should be focused on that is name this text box okay what's the name txt name text box right so the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here you have to this one focus on the txt uh, txt name text box so we have to call the method request focus that's it that's the thing we have to write okay now what i'm going to do is the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here we have write record fail okay fail but it's not record fail right if the if the record is not error here it's uh, the, is there any error it is passing to the catch right if the it is a success message it is pa it is uh, passing to the try will executor there will be the fail any failure catch executor record fail right that's the thing we have to do right when you click the button this save button right okay now let's check click okay the griddle will be fin running okay you have to wait until the griddle uh, finish right it is running right now it asks to connect the device click on this one click okay right i have used the uh, jenny motion right so here it will be right now it's working here now we are going to enter the name right i'm going to enter the name as john uh, course i'm going to enter as java I am going to enter as 10,000. Click hit save button. Record it. Right. It's working perfectly well. Right. Now we 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 want to see the records. So we have to do, do the things. Is we have to view the records. Right. Uh, view part. I am going to teach in my next tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching. Right. Hi guys. Welcome to Tutors Funny Channel. This is the part 2 tutorial of Kotlin uh, cred using prepare statement. If you have not watched my previous video of how to add the records, please watch them and come to this tutorial, right? So this is a part 2 uh, part two tutorial. So uh, today I am going to show you how to view the records, right, from the SQLite database. So let's go to the app folder here. I am going to create uh, right click new. I am going to create the activity, empty activity here, activity here, empty activity. Here we have to give the name as, activity name as view, click finish. Right. Now here view has created successfully here. Now first what I am going to do is here, uh, before we have to go to, first we have to design the view, right. So first we have to go to the uh, RS folder, so it is created still, right, right, it is created. Now go to the layout here activity view dot xml double click on this one here it's an empty one now go to the text here i'm going to first the same thing we have to make this one as a linear layout right here also we have to write here as a uh, orientation vertical and gravity we have to write uh, center uh, gravity center right okay this center is not must we have to put it now here what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to write another linear layout inside this linear layout you have to design another linear layout linear layout uh, here we have to write this one thing match parent match parent this is match parent right not trap contain match parent okay here i'm going to not uh, uh, do any uh, things here here only write uh, this one right uh, list view only so you have to write here as match parent match parent so here we have to write the list view right inside here we have to write the list view right so here we have to write here is uh, we have to write uh, 
uh, list view right here list view match parent match parent you have to give the match parent match parent that's it you have to give the name of the list view so give the list of, uh, id android id here we have right list one right this is the list right so list one right it's in list okay it's working perfectly here it's character successful here. this is a list view right simple now what I'm going to do is here, yeah. right, 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 perfect, right, design, design was perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here, uh, I designed the list view successfully, design is over. Now let's back to have a, uh, a Java here, Java folder, this is the coding part. So first go to, go to view the, uh, go to view, view here we have to click on this package right click new i am going to create the java class right we have to create the java class first right this is very important stuff to create the java class uh, let's create the java class as student click ok right now here we have to write the properties here right first string id comma sorry here we have to write string id string name name string course string fee final year string titles right now what i'm going to do is go back to have a view here right now here we have to do the things right so here first i'm going to write the title right here i'm going to view the records from the database uh, so here we have uh, view the records from the database and to the this list view right so so first uh, time going to write it here so you have to write intel internal internal here we have an internal bar to write the titles titles uh, we have to write this array list we have to create the array list here array list this array list right got an array list here we have to write a string this is string type array list string right that's the thing we have to write okay this is how we have to create the array list right array list which we uh, we have to display the records right it all the records and display right collection of records coming it is displayed right so we have to this is must when you display the records array list we have to create after that inside the function we have to write here we have to create the well db uh, we, have, we no need to create the uh, uh, database again again uh, database name again again we already wrote here go back to my main activity here this is the one right db the same thing this database we have to control c to copy the same database we have to paste it this one we no need to write again by again, right very simple right bar db is already we are written this code in our last tutorial right this one right db this this is the database right we have to uh, view the record so we have to write like this right after that what i'm going to do is you have to write the well function well uh, list one you have to create the variable list one find view by id find view by id you have to write here r dot id uh, dot list one right this is the name which we given right uh, when you create the list this is the name right list this id right list view right so we have to get it here right here as list view you have to give like this now the error go away now what i'm going to do is here you have to write va well c equal db dot row query here we have to write select all from select all from records database records right comma this thing you have now put it like this perfect right now what i'm going to do is here we have to column what are the columns available so we have got id which it should be the auto increment part so here c dot get column index 
Here you have write ID, first one should be ID. Same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste below. This one should be name, here also name, control C to copy, control V to paste. The same name you are given, give here. What is the name you are given here? This is the name, this is your field names, okay? The same name you are given, then only it will work. ID, name, course and fee, right? These are the names we have to add the records into the database, these columns names, right? The same name you have to give here, otherwise it won't work, right? Second one should be the course, third one should be the fee, right? If, if, you, if the single spelling mistake, it, will, it won't work, right? So here also we have the course, fee, right here, right like this, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is here, uh, we have the title, this array, we have first clear. Control C copy this array variable, get it here. Dot clear first. Clear. Right. Perfect. Now what I am going to do is here. Uh, we have to write the bar, we have to get the variable array adapter. We have to get the array adapter. Array adapter. This array adapter. adapter. Right. Array adapter here is one. Array adapter. Uh, equal array adapter okay, we have to write this keyword this comma we have to write r dot layout dot support if what item comma this title this control C to copy, control V to paste here. This is the thing we have to write. Okay. Now after that, what I am going to do is here. We have to display the record into list view. What is the name of the list view? This one. This list view. This one. This list view we have to assign to this variable. The list the variable you have to get it here. List view one dot set adapter. Set adapter. Set adapter, the right set adapter, you have to pass the array list, this, uh, this array adapter, that's the thing we have to do, after that we have to write, well, we have to create the variables stood equal array list, list, what, that's it, we have to write this one should be the student. That is, we have made this. We have changed this thing as student. Student means this one. What's the name you have given the class name? This class name, all the properties should be there. You have to get it here. The same name you have typed here. Okay? Student, right? This class we have created, right? Earlier, right? Now, here what I am going to do is we have to loop it, right? If C, C dot move first, move, move to first, right? Now, here we have to do the uh, this one. Uh, do 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 while loop right do you have to write the while loop here do while while do while you have to write do while here right so you have to write so uh, c dot move to next move to next move to next this one right this is the do while right now here what I am going in the inside this do we have to write well let get the effect stu equals student After that, we have right stu dot id. This is coming from this id. All the things are coming from this class, right? This all the properties are coming, right? Understand that, right? Okay. Now here c dot get string id. After that, same thing. Control c to copy. Control v to paste. This one should be st name. Here also get string name. After the same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste. This one should be post. Here also the same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste. Post. Same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste. This one should be fee. The same fee, control C to copy, control V to paste here. But that's the thing here, right? Now here we have to write this stood dot add. Here we have to write this one. This name, control C to copy, control V to paste. But that's the thing we have to write. Finally, what I'm going to do is we have to write titles dot add here we have to write c dot get string 
the id plus plus here we have right so try this t right okay now what i am going to do is here the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be name Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be the same thing. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be uh, course. The same thing. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. This one should be uh, name course fee. Right. That's the thing. We have right. Right. Now here fee. After that we have to remove the statement. We no need. Right. That's the thing. We have right. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is this is the thing we have to write. Finally, we have to this one. By look uh, next, we have to write here uh, array adapter. This array adapter. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. Dot notified changed. Right. That's the thing we have to write. Now here we have to write list. Uh, we have to write list one. This one list one. Dot in in validate view in validate view right that's it very simple code you have to write like this okay now what i'm going to do is we have to execute the program and check before that what i'm going to do is here go to the main this one here we have to give the link right so how to give the link here is so let's go to the text here sorry main activity this main activity so when you click that add button it goes to the view page so main activity we have we have to be, be designed we have get the button here right so this button here right b2 dot set on click listener set uh, on click listener we have right open and close bracket here we have right intent what right? we have right intent right how to write the intent uh, on Kotlin program var equal i uh, sorry not var val equal i equal intent you have to write here application application context comma which form your visit view so we have to write view view we have to write here we have to write another colon class java dot java right like this right you have to write Okay, this is simple now you have to this one you have to select this one or and enter then only intent will be recognized right here right here what is the problem application content view view of this one class.java now here we have right uh, start activity start activity we have called this right and that's the thing we have right now what's the problem here it's not, uh, it's not simple it's what's the problem right. the problem is there the, the space is a problem right then now it's a problem will be solved now let's execute the program and check right now let's run and check You have to wait until the grid layer is finished. Now let's check. Okay, if you click view, here it's drawn is there, right? It's working perfect. Now let's run. Let uh, let's again run it, and we will check, right? Now here. Now I'm going to add another record. Uh, here I'm going to James. Uh, James, right? You have to write James. Course. Ja PHP. Fee, thirteen thousand. Click save, it's working. After the Raja VB VB twelve thousand. After that name uh, Ramesh fourteen thousand uh, course Photoshop Photoshop for uh, fourteen thousand click save. 
right i added some records here now let's click view here all records should be you can able to view the list view successfully i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt on kotlin cred using prepare statement you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching